basic setup. Um, I've got uh, 5339 chain rings on the front and on the back it's the same set we're going to be using here so I've been training the last uh, week or two. I wanted to make it aware that it is a special a special type of travel. This is the first time and there's a lot of technology and connectivity behind it that is not all in our control and where we are gaining experience with right and then I wanted to just kind of give the word to Robert to give a uh, couple of details on rules on the bike uh, the bike shoes, running shoes, swim caps, swimming goggles, etc. So maybe let's talk through the start procedures. So three minutes prior to start you're being walked out in the 25 meter pool as you've now seen and then I don't know at some point of time the walk on will start. The moment the last athlete is basically on the pool deck you've got one minute left and then we'll say on your marks and at that point of time you'll step forward basically like on a pontoon. Uh, had to give penalties, many people were running, and that's right, they can run from run to swim, which is on stage two and stage three, 
you can run with your shoes if you, if you decide to do so. Uh, but many people didn't put their shoes into the transition box at the swim style band, and that's not a penalty. That's basically the only thing that you can take with you from, from, from one discipline to the other, right? Your, your running shoes from the run to the swim. Swim goggles, swim caps, stay in the transition box at swim style. One other thing, I believe in the briefing I mentioned, you get out on the left hand side of the, of the starting block. That's rubbish, you get out on the right side. <laughs> but that's pretty clear, I mean, now that you've seen it. At all times, is every piece of movement has to be in the um, box. Yes. So even if you're on the first leg, the run shoes have to be in the box, you have to get them out of the box to put them on. Yes. They can't be outside the box. Correct. Okay. Yes. Yeah, everything is in the box. Again, you can run with your shoes around the floor if you decide to do it. How many did that do today? Would you recommend that or would you recommend going barefoot? I don't really know, I'm honest. <laughs> so how the, 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 the issue, of course, is so if you do it, next time you need new shoes if you're at the run, right? Stages. So it was no problem today? If today was it was different. They all did one stage. It was very easy. Okay. Oh, okay. Awesome. Yeah, yeah. 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 So, so a lot of people yeah. using the running shoes on the bike and on the run yeah. and, oh, okay. and playing but with stuff like this, okay. right? Yeah, I don't, I, don't, I don't think I'd recommend that like that, but yeah, it's really your shout. <laughs> I would recommend you put it in the box, otherwise you're running, running around, right? Okay. I mean, put it in the box and then you know where it is. You can do a full start on stage one, which starts with a swim. Quite jumping too early into the water. On all other stages, you can't do a full start because because it's swift. So the gate opens and that's the start. We we have kind of the officials are are the backup basically. And and since since it is a matter of ranking, not so much about time, um, and they are basically the backup um, to, to to take a manual ranking if. If any, if any other questions, drop it in the group chat or ask any of us. And, uh, or if you need anything, just. Alright. Yeah, just edited afterwards. Yeah. Alright, so uh, first day of uh, Arena Games Rotterdam. Exciting new format uh, for Super League. I think. Uh, I would say performance beyond expectation, really. It's uh, obviously a lot of unknowns doing something so different. Uh, it's still triathlon, it's still swimming, biking and running, but very, very different, very much a lot of technology behind it. So uh, I think we learned a lot today and, uh, and we pieced some great experience together. Um, yeah, and we're very much ready for tomorrow. So uh, exciting times ahead, I would say. Um, and I can really see potential of, of arena games for the future. And I can see this, uh, this format grow into something exciting uh, that will hopefully bring across the world. Okay, to go. Uh, all the leading men. Ten lead. <laughs> 